Hi, I'm Steven, CEO of Lambda, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to use the Lambda GPU Cloud. First, what you're going to want to do is go to lambdalabs.com. After you're there, just go to the upper left corner and click GPU Cloud. So you're probably going to want to sign up, but I've already got an account, so I'm just going to click sign in. You'll be brought to sort of the instance dashboard here, and what we're going to do is first create an SSH key. So you can click SSH keys here and click add SSH key in the top right corner. So you can either paste in your own SSH key that you already have, or we can generate a new one. And I'm just gonna ger generate one right here. I'm gonna call it YouTube and click create. So you can see that that key has been now downloaded and we can go launch the instance. If you don't have any SSH keys on your account, uh, on the bottom of this dialog should be a way for you to be prompted to generate a new SSH key but we've already gone through sort of the long flow for that. As you can see, there's a couple of different instance types, but we're gonna choose the 2x86,048 gigabyte um, GPUs. So I'm gonna select the SSH key that I just generated and click launch. We're gonna to agree to the EULA, which is about the software that's pre-installed on the system, as well as an agreement that we're not gonna mine any cryptocurrency while we're there. Click agree, and the instance will start launching. So while we're waiting for this to launch, um, and again, all this is gonna be in real time, we're just gonna talk about some of the instances that we've got. So we've got A6000 instances, which are the latest GPUs from NVIDIA. We've got some RTX 6000 instances and some V100 instances. We also have some legacy instances that are gonna be deprecated soon, but that's the kind of selection that we've got today. We've got one GPU instances, two, four, eight, and a, sort of a, a wide variety of GPUs at a wide variety of hourly pricing, depending on what your needs are. But today we're just gonna be using the 2X A6000. It's a great GPU, it's relatively new, um, and it's got quite a bit of GPU VRAM. So you can see that that status changed from booting to running, and so now the instance is live and the, the Jupyter IDE is, is now launched. So we can just click this launch button here under Cloud IDE and bring that up. So you can see that um, it's launching a Jupyter Hub interface. And this is a really convenient 100% in your browser interface for um, interfacing with the instances. So first thing we're gonna do is just run a couple of commands like NVIDIA SMI to show the GPUs that are on the instance. As you can see, there's two A6000s. Um, and then we can do a little bit of uh, Python foo. So one of the cool things is that every one of these instances comes pre-installed with Lambda Stack, which has got TensorFlow, PyTorch, Cafe, Keras, and a bunch of other deep learning libraries and frameworks, as well as the NVIDIA drivers, CUDA, CUDNN, etc. So what we can do is we can just do import torch to pull in PyTorch and let's do some uh, matrix multiplication. So we can do torch rand and come up with a thousand by a thousand matrix. And what we're going to do is do call CUDA on that. So it's going to put it onto the GPU and that will generate a thousand by thousand random matrix and place it onto the GPU. We're going to do the same thing with another matrix and also put that onto the GPU. And so now we've got A and B, and these are two thousand by thousand matrices. And so what we can do just to sort of test out these, um, these GPUs is we can, we can run a little matrix multiplication routine. So first thing I'm gonna do is just in a loop, I'm just gonna do A times B, and um, that's just gonna run that forever. So NM stands for matrix multiplication. And so it's just gonna, output the result of that. And to show that's running, I'm just gonna go up here on the left-hand side and do file, new terminal. And we can see that on NVIDIA SMI, we're seeing some utilization on the GPU. And if I do watch here, we can sort of get continuous updates as to the, um, the matrix multiplication that's going on. So as you can see, it's, um, it's using some of the GPU's memory and it's also using some of the uh, GPU's processing power. While that's running, what we can do is do a little bit of a neural network training demo. So I'm gonna again go file, new, terminal, and we're gonna do the sort of basic PyTorch MNIST demonstration. Over on the PyTorch official GitHub, you can see that they've got a basic MNIST example. One of the other interesting things is that 
Typically, these are the requirements. You're going to need Torch and Torch Vision on your system. But because Lambda Stack is pre-installed, you're not going to need to install any of those requirements because they're already there. So what we're going to do is just open up this main Python file here, just get a, a, a raw copy of it. And I'm just going to go back to the terminal here, and I'm going to uh, wget that from GitHub. So we've downloaded that, that file. And you can see that that's downloaded. And you can see also on the left-hand side, it, it shows up in the file browser here on the Jupyter Hub. So one of the other things I'm going to do is first download a data set. Typically, um, you'd be able to just use the PyTorch downloader, but I think that Jan LeCun's website is currently down. So uh, we're going we're gonna to download uh, our own data set. So I'm going to slightly modify this script to accommodate the the local data set that we're going to use. I've already got a, uh, a, a URL for the data set, and I can just copy that, go back to my terminal, and wget that data set. So we're going to download that. And as you can see, we've got nice, fast internet here. And then I can do some tar foo to untar it. And we've successfully downloaded and untarred the data set, as you can see. So I'm going to go back to the Python file that I've that I've got there, make sure it's saved. And I think we should be able to, to run this job. So as you can see, we've already got a, a job running on the first GPU. So I'm gonna kind of let that continue to run. And instead of just running Python main.py, I'm gonna do CUDA visible devices equals one. And what that's gonna do is it's going to select the second GPU on the system to run this training job on. So I'm just gonna hit enter and that should start to do a PyTorch training job. And as you can see, it's starting to do the training. It's running through the first epoch, and we're already at, a, I believe, a 98% accuracy here. And just to show that that's training, we can go back to our other terminal that's running NVIDIA SMI here, and you can see that we now have two different processes that are running, one on GPU zero and another one on GPU one. And that's, again, just using that little trick I showed you before of CUDA visible devices to select the GPU that you'd like to run your job on. While that's running, I want to also show you sort of the, the terminal way of doing this without using the Jupyter Hub ID. So I'm just going to bring a terminal over here. And again, while that's running in the background, you remember that in the bottom left corner here, we've got the YouTube PEM file. So first thing you're going to want to do is change the permissions on that PEM file to 600. And that's a little bit of an SSH security thing. And then what we can do is we can go to the instances and just figure out what the IP address of the of the instance that we just spun up is. So you can see that there's a little SSH login here. You can just, for convenience, sort of copy this login. And then we can go back to our terminal and just drop that there. And because um, I have not put this PEM file into my SSH folder, we're going to just use the dash I command to, to select the particular YouTube PEM file that we, we're going to use to SSH into this instance. So I'm just going to hit enter and you can see that it's prompting to confirm the fingerprint and the we're now SSH in. So now I'm actually in the Linux, you know, terminal SSH into the instance. And, you know, you can do this if you're, if you're more comfortable this way, you can, uh, pull up a Tmux instance and start doing some Linux system administration. And while that's while that's running, you know, you can basically just sort of use that as a way to do automated remote administration of the of the system. Or maybe you, you need to run some Ansible commands or you want to provision your instance somehow. You can do all that through the command line. So to summarize, that's uh, Lambda GPU Cloud. I really, I hope that that's been a useful video for you. We're already done training our, our MNIST on that. That was pretty fast. And if you've got any questions about it, feel free to comment below. Really, really looking forward to seeing what you can build with Lambda GPU Cloud. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.